Mr. Mackenzie wasted no time linking the signs of arson to the benefits people can get as a result of setting fires to the landfill. He made it clear that he will not tolerate the illicit activities. I want to make the government position quite clear. We do not intend to bow to any pressure from any sector of the society and to facilitate any form of employment to those persons. The minister said he is making it known to the public that neither he nor the rest of the government is naive about who the fires at the dump would benefit. He went on to say no special favours or support would come to private individuals offering their services to contain the fire. The National Solid Waste Management Authority has taken the steps. Last night I spent a couple of hours with them on the location. They are using equipment, private equipment, trucks coming in, and other such assistance have been provided by private individuals. We are aware of some of those whose equipment would benefit when there's a fire on the landfill. And we are not prepared to countenance by calling on those individuals to assist in any operations as it relates to the fires. Mr. Mackenzie also addressed the issue of other fires at landfills across the island. He paid special attention to the fires at the retirement landfill in St. James. He said plans are in place to relocate 22 families who live there. The recent fires have allowed the MSWMA to start negotiations with a government entity to secure lands to assist in the relocation of those persons who are living on the retirement. The fire at Riverton City has been brought under control. However, the smoke is expected to linger into Monday night. The Ministry of Health is urging persons who are in close proximity to the landfill to take extra care if they must go outside. Brandon Hendricks, Frontline News.